Hey, what is going on everybody? Boylon here back for another video on Marvel Strike Force and today we have a really exciting topic to talk about today, one that I'm sure many of you are were not expecting and also possibly not expecting for me to bring up. But in today's video, we're going to be revealing the next two teams coming to Marvel Strike Force. Yes, between my Magic Crystal Ball and my sources we want to bring this to you guys a little bit early because I think it's really exciting for you guys to understand what's around the bend. Now, this video may be a little bit lengthy, so I do have an actual a separate topic that we're going to be talking about, hopefully in a day or two, as well on another video. Uh, that's going to be some more stuff to come, um, but I hope that you guys enjoy today's video. So if you're ready to go, everybody, let's spoil this down. Okay, and so for the purposes of this video, we're actually going to be doing this in full screen mode because I am also going to be doing this in a PowerPoint presentation style. So what are we talking about? We're talking about the next two upcoming teams coming to Marvel Strike Force, which are going to be associated with the Orcus Raids. I, yeah, I've been working on this. I've been workshopping the, the pronunciation for you guys because uh, I know that there was a lot of comments down below. But anyways, we're here for the content, which is going to be that exactly. So I'm going to be clicking as we move through if my PowerPoint will work properly. So the Orcus raids, right? I data mined that like a week or a half ago. And that's actually what uh, triggered apparently uh, my removal from the Envoy program, because apparently they don't know what's actually in their own game files because all of this stuff was in it. I did not data mine the test server. This was on their publicly available server that many players can attest to, especially the ones who I collaborate with in terms of file uh, digging and things like that. So it was there. Uh, they didn't like that this happened and they're probably not gonna like today's video either because it's gonna contain a lot of information that you guys are not supposed to know. So these next two teams that we're gonna be talking about are Orcus Raid related and it's going to be coming out pretty soon. Now, I have a feeling that this raid is also around the bend in the not so distant future, probably within the next month or so. And we're going to be talking about more about that in the coming days. But let's get things started. So the first team that I want to talk about is the next tech team. It is the next team coming to Marvel Strike Force, and it very likely is a full villain tech team released after after the Annihilators estimated to be around September. This will replace Pegasus in raids, obviously, so it's going to be that. And you're probably wondering, why is this coming before the Mystic raid team? Well, it just is. And they have done this in the past before, especially when, if you guys have been playing long enough, you might have remembered Death Seed. It took forever for Astonishing X-Men to transition to Death Seed, so there is precedence for them uh, slowing down releases or not going in the order that you expected them to release in. Uh, the reworks at this time is unconfirmed. However, there might be a player vote. Maybe they've done that in the past. And I do have some uh, characters that I think will probably fit this team. Uh, and we'll talk about that in the video. So let's talk about Nimrod. And yes, I understand my PowerPoint's a little bit cut off at the top. It's not that important. Anyways, the team name for this is going to be Orcus. It's not set in stone. And I don't know if they know it's a bit on the nose, given that the raid is called Orcus Raids. So it's related to the organization Orcus. I've talked about this in previous videos as well. And we have data mined uh, through the portraits Nimrod and a few other characters as well. And at, you know, originally, like I said, I thought this was going to be an enemy boss for the new raids. But no, it is actually going to be a playable character, part of the next raid team. He is, in fact, a new playable character for this tech team. So uh, pretty exciting anyways, because Nimrod is a very important character in the sort of the Age of X or just like, you know, X-Men kind of lore. So pretty cool there. Now, second character is going to be Sentinel. Yes, you heard right. <laughs> a Sentinel is a playable character for Marvel Strike Force. And originally, I if you listen to my other videos, I also thought that he would be a summon for Nimrod or something like that. But no, he is or they, or whatever, the Sentinel is going to be an actual character for this team. As far as the design goes, I, I don't know what they're going for, if this is like some special Sentinel design, you know, maybe someone who knows a little bit more might be able to let me know, 
but uh, based on what I'm seeing, there's also do sentinels have mouths? I don't know. Like I barely see a mouth here, like on the right hand side. But it, <laughs> anyways, uh, these portraits were data mined as well through those same game files. And uh, yeah, I, I, it, it, maybe it's just a generic sentinel that they're throwing in there. But yes, it's a standalone character. It's not a summon, and it's going to be a character for this team as well. Moving on to the third character, which is going to be Omega Sentinel. So I don't know what appearance that they're going for with this character. I've done some digging in terms of the Marvel Wiki. This is Omega Sentinel's current appearance in the uh, a, a Krakoa era, like in the last couple of years in terms of the comics. Uh, so this is what I grabbed off of that. Uh, I have actually read some of this, but apparently this character has gone back a little while as well. So I don't know what they're going to use for that. Uh, but Omega Sentinel is directly related to the Orcus group now, at least within the last few years since uh, that organization has popped up. Possibly the support for the team, but I'm not going to wager, you know, what the class is for these characters. Let's talk about reworks, right? So Orcus has had affiliations with other teams such as AIM, Hydra, etc. to staff their base. What I mean is that they have agents. They have, you know, their organization is like scientist agents from like all over uh, the Marvel Universe. However, the villain tech roster is very limited in terms of, you know, what viable characters I think that there would be on this team. And less for those that would be relevant in terms of the name and the lore background. So let's cover a few that I think might be reworks for this team. First one. It's going to be Scientist Supreme because Modok was a member of Orcus. And since he isn't coming to MSF right now, this would be like an aim adjacent pick to include on the team. That would be kind of like Modok, but not Modok, you know, uh, Scientist Supreme uh, is support, though, which means that Omega Sentinel would obviously fill a different role. Uh, they would have to do a pretty hefty rework, I think, to Scientist Supreme to make it like raid viable, especially in the end game, what it is now. AIM hasn't been touched in such a long time that Scientist Supreme would need a major overhaul, but it's not outside the realm of possibility, in my opinion. Second is going to be Lady Deathstrike. So Lady Deathstrike has a long history tied to the X-Men and mutants in general. I think this would be very fitting. Weapon X has also been slowly breaking up anyways with the removal of Wolverine. They did, yes, they included X-23, but I think, I don't know how many people are actually doing that. So I don't know how many people are still using uh, Weapon X as it sits right now. You know, it is what it is. Uh, so I could see this being a thing because Lady Deathstrike, well, is quite tied, in my opinion, to that. So thirdly, this <laughs> take this with the massive grain of salt. Uh, a tank for the team with a Hydra affiliation, who are also known Orcus agents. Uh, this one is far less likely, in my opinion. Uh, he's also had his roster pose updated a while back. I don't know if you know, like the standard just sitting around the roster screen. Like that was changed, and, and I don't know if that indicates anything. Uh, there just really isn't a lot of viable tech villains for this team, you know, and, and you can go back through your your game here, right? We, we, can, we can touch on this very briefly. And if you were to go in through here and go tech villain, it, it, it's pretty like bad. In fact, now they don't necessarily I, I think it's going to be a tech villain team, you know, because even if you were to look at the hero tech side, it just doesn't add up in my opinion. And so in terms of the characters that are here, you know, either they've already been reworked or they're just they're not going to fit into this team. Like there's like Ghost and Minerva it just doesn't make sense. And a bunch of minions. Right. And so there's really not much left in that category in the three new to old rework. So that's just my thoughts anyways. So that's going to be the Orcus raid team. Next up is going to be the Mystic raid team. Yes, you're getting a two for one in today's video. So the team name is going to be Night Stalkers. Yes, they're going to be focusing on vampire hunting you. This is a Marvel team, apparently from the 90s. So it did. Uh, we'll get to the characters that are in it, but it's very likely going to be a full hero mystic team. Uh, this is going to be released after the Orcus tech team, uh, which is estimated to be around October, maybe through into Halloween, that kind of thing as well. This will replace Bifrost in raids. Uh, the second rework is unconfirmed. Maybe there's going to be another player vote, but this team has had a ton of player votes. So let's just go through what we know so far. Obviously, we have the Karen character or like I forget her full name. Anyways, Karen, who has been uh, there's been a lot of votes on this one with the appearance and mentored by Morbius vote. Uh, not sure what kind of role that she'll be on the team, though. I think we voted for Karen, then we voted for Morbius, the mentor. And so there's just been a lot of votes on this team. We also have Man-Thing, 
right? We voted on this. It was Man-Thing or Werewolf by Night. It's probably going to be the tank of the team. And I wouldn't be surprised if they just did a reskin of Sasquatch just because, I don't know, when I look at the two of them, I just think that, like, in MSF, it very well could be quite similar. Uh, there's not much else to say about this swamp creature at this time. We don't really know a lot about the team other than that, well, I know it's going to be the Mystic Ray team. Moving on, we have Moon Knight. So this was voted on between him and Morbius. He's already in the game, so make sure that he's at least... 7 yellow, 7 red. If you have some spare energy to farm the Moon Knight node, make sure you do this a little bit in advance, but we're still like two months out anyway, so you've got some time. Not much more to say. Moon Knight was kind of fun when he was on the uh, the Shadowland team, if you're that old and you played around that long. Uh, so I'm not sure what kind of reworks they're going to make to a team, but he's probably going to have a lot of debuffs, and he's going to be a very debuff-heavy character. Most likely, they're going to throw trauma on his AoE, because that's where he gets a ton of his debuffs. It's just like before Cloak was out, so it's like, you know, those kind of like spamming tons of debuffs. And finally, the most exciting part, and you know what, I I, I want to go into like my other version for this. This is really exciting news. So let's talk about Blade. So originally I had talked about Dracula. That's not the case. So obviously Blade is a huge fan favorite here. Dracula is not coming to the team as I thought he might. The minions seem to be part of some future PvE content. I don't know what that is. It could be, uh, I don't think it's the raids. It could just be campaign related content. However, you know, that doesn't mean to say that, you know, maybe Dracula or a Dracula character would summon these vampire minions down the line. That's still in the realm of possibility, I think. Also, I realize that my square is blocking it, so maybe I should just go back to full screen. But anyways, it's unclear if they will make him an epic, but probably not or there would be huge community outrage, I think, as you could all imagine, because Blade is a very popular character and one that everybody wants. So uh, let me know what your thoughts are about that. Yes, I can pretty much guarantee you that this is the case. So that's good news. Uh, now, moving on, in terms of the reworks for the team, someone from the Dark Hunters team makes sense, honestly, to me. It is a vampire hunting type team. So we don't know much about who that last character is going to be on this team. There's a smallish pool of viable hero mystics, in my opinion. And I think that Elsa or Ghost Rider is going to make sense. Dr. Voodoo could also. Those are my top picks personally. If you look at the list and within the context of this Night Stalkers or, you know, vampire hunting team, I think characters that are kind of somewhat affiliated with the Midnight Suns would make the most sense. Doctor Strange OG, maybe, but right, they've already used him for Secret Defender, so I, I don't know what the likelihood of that is to be on this team. I don't think that they're going to take uh, Strange Heartless at this point. I would be quite surprised if they did that personally, but uh, let me know what your thoughts are anyways. Again, this one is unconfirmed, but this just makes the most sense to me based on what I know. And finally, let's talk about the legendaries. Um, so... Is it possible, or it definitely is possible, that there is a legendary in one of these two teams? I, I can't tell you who it is, because I don't know. Uh, in my opinion, the likely candidates would either be Nimrod, because he's a villain character and we just had a hero, or Blade, because he's such a fan favorite. The release timeline would be that they don't want Illuminati or the Annihilators to be farmable before the event goes live, right? You know, because when Old Man Logan went live, both out of time, and Cabal were not farmable for that first pass. So my personal guess would be that it's Blade due to his popularity. I, I mean, I, I think that Nimrod is a popular villain, but I just think that Blade would kind of garner more spending, if I had to say. You know, if people saw that Blade was the legendary character, then I think that people would kind of whip out their wallets and start buying and, you know, spending more on Illuminati or Annihilators once that gets revealed. Uh, this still within the above timeline as well. You know, uh, basically it's from, from now, it's been like a month since Black Panther Shuri's come out. So we know that the next legendary is going to be within two to three, like, like probably within two months, honestly, uh, because you want it before the Illuminati becomes farmable. And yes, legendary raid characters are possible. We did have this with Archangel after all, because some people were asking me, well, what's the possibility that a raid character could be a legendary and they weren't thinking that it was possible, but it totally is. I just can't tell you, and I don't know which one of these two characters is going to be. I think these are the only ones that make the most sense, in my opinion. And I think that's it. Yes, that's it. So let me know in the comments down below 
what you think about the news here that I have revealed between these legendary characters and all the upcoming team characters and all of that. Uh, this is some pretty exciting news, but it's some news that you were not supposed to get this early. Maybe you'll hear it in a blog sometime soon. Maybe you won't. I don't know when that's going to happen, but I wanted to bring it to you all because a lot of people have been asking and I've also been teasing it a little bit myself. So that's it for me for today, everyone. And uh, keep an eye on this channel, of course. Ring that notification bell. Hit that like and subscribe button if you want to keep up to date with all things Marvel Strike Force exactly when I know about it. I'll be bringing it to you guys. So that's the end of this one. And until next time, stay safe and healthy. And I'll see you all later. Boylan signing out.